Do you use a passive probe for ripple noise measurement on power rail? Recent ASIC requires clean power supply, for example, plus minus 10 mV to 50 mV. Power rail probe is a special active probe designed for power integrity purpose. It is ultra low noise performance with 1 to 1 attenuation ratio and 2 GHz bandwidth wide. It enables very small ripple noise measurements on DC supply, even if it is 1 mV ripple. Let's take a look at the measurement comparison between power rail probe and passive probe. For 1.2V power to FPGA, we measure by two probes simultaneously at same probing location. The yellow trace is measured by power rail probe and the blue trace is by passive probe. Although they are the same signal, but they look totally different. Yellow trace looks less noisy at 26.4mV peak to peak. On the other hand, the blue trace is 50 mV peak to peak which is about twice of yellow trace. By passive probe, true waveform is buried under the large noise. But by power rail probe, small ripple can be seen clearly because of the lower noise of the probe. Probe difference impacts about twice in ripple noise measurement. And this will be critical in tight power supply requirement. This is another debug case for power integrity by adding bypass capacitor. Adding bypass capacitor to power rail of DDR memory and check improvement by two probes. Let's see the difference between power rail probe and passive probe measurement. Yellow trace is by power rail probe and blue trace is by passive probe. Before adding bypass capacitor, spikes can be seen by power rail probe, but there is no spike by passive probe because of the probe noise. After adding it, improvement can be seen clearly by power rail probe, but can't be seen by the passive probe. For power integrity improvement, evaluation and debug, power rail probe is necessary. It enables very small ripple noise measurements on DC supply, even if it is 1 mV ripple.